What's going on YouTube? Thanks for watching my video. I am going to show you some amazing tr uh, trade that I did recently. That I traded one of my albums for a... I thought I was going to get three albums, but he threw in an extra just to be nice. First let me show you what I traded. Give me a minute. Okay, I'm back. I traded... Queen, um, Duck Soup, live in Seattle, March 13, 1977. This is a bootleg album. I traded for this. See? Bootleg. This is a pretty good one. Um, but I think, I don't really listen to this album that much, so. I thought it was... I thought it was worth it. So, let me show you guys what I got. First of all, I want to show you guys Elvis EP first pressing. This is Volume 1. Elvis Volume 1. Look at that. Nice. Here's the back. A little bit of water damage. But hey, I'm alright. This is fine. I don't care. And here's the... And there's that. The label. So now you can tell if it's a first pressing or a later pressing by... Hey, the... If there is a horizontal... Uh, a vertical line going like right here. Like right there. Going that way. That's how... One of the ways you can tell. I haven't played these yet, but I will. Let's see. Gotta put that in nice and thin. That was one of the ones that I knew I was gonna get. The next one is Heartbreak Hotel. Look at that. Nice. Awesomeness. Let's see. There you go, right there. This has amazing songs on it. Of course, Heartbreak Hotel, I Was the One, Money Honey, Honey, I Forgot to Remember to Forget. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to uh, read the songs on the first one. Uh, Rip It Up, Love Me, When the Blue Moon Turns to Gold Again, Paralyzed. Which is amazing. And here, once again, the label, first pressing, US, 45 EP, Heartbreak Hotel. Heartbreak Hotel. These are my first EPs ever, by the way. And here's the bonus one that I didn't know I was getting. He surprised me by it. This one doesn't come with the cover, though. That's right. Take him. And it is Elvis Presley. Uh, let's see. Jailhouse Rock. There's the label. don't know if you can see that there. This is the first pressing, I believe, as well. I haven't played any of these. But it's okay. I'll play them later. Now this last one I really thought was really cool. These ones were also really cool. But these ones, this one I'm going to show you my last one, is going to be a tad cooler. Just a little bit. Hold on, let me take a drink. How's everybody's Wednesday doing? Okay. So... It is Elvis, his first album. Nope, this is not the first pressing. It's uh, either the 1963 or 64 pressing. I think it's 63. But um, this is a mono reissue from the 60s. So look at that. And this is the closest I got right now till to the uh, real deal. It has this, Elvis, 
in pink, press like in green. Awesome. It's a little bit worn. That's very good. Very good cover. Look at that. A little bit of wear right there. But for a 50 year old album. No way. 50, yeah, 50 year old album. This is not bad. And the side of the songs are blue sword shoes. I'm counting on you. I got a woman. One side of love affair. So many good songs. But hold on. It gets better. It just didn't come with that. It came with the original insert. As uh, the original sleeve. Sure, it's. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. I like that one. But on the other side, it's ripped. But it's taped. That's all right. And this. Look at that nice clean album. Look at that right there. Shiny like new. Not even a scrap. That I could tell. Maybe maybe one. But I doubt. The guy said that he that it played well. Played very good. I can't remember what exactly he said. But um this is amazing. I am a huge Elvis fan. Not as much as Prince or or MJ, but pfft. For that deal, I'm going, I'll take it. Thanks for watching my video, you guys. Uh, stay tuned for uh, sometime this week for episode 3 of my uh, Behind the Crown series. And for, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.